request recently um, to one of us subscribers to do a video on my 8 ohm audio load speaker. So what I did, I you always have loads of uh, speakers available in your shack. So I took this one. It's a low external speaker JX9 noise filter thing. And the first thing I did was open it up and remove all the gubbins. So basically all I was left with was just a speaker, the wire, and a 3.5mm jack socket. So let me just undo the four screws, and we'll, I'll open it up and show you what I've done. In the reason why I decided on this speaker is it's a nice size speaker. So it's big, which means that when you're modifying it, you've got a lot of room to uh, do your mods. And secondly, it had this bracket on it as well. Um, which was ideal. So it stands up and uh, can be positioned wherever you want it to be. So let's just rattle these four screws off. The other thing I did notice around the internet when I was sort of first getting myself going, setting myself up to do um, CB videos and bits and pieces is there's not a lot of information on uh, test equipment and how to get yourself set up if you want to get started so it's took me a long time to work out how to do all this um, so I'm going to share some of the secrets with you because if you're struggling to get going I'm hopefully help you out so what I did I removed there was a switch here and another little board I took all that out I've just got basically got my speaker wire and this is this black and white wire coming in and then what I've done, I've mounted two BNC connectors up in the top here at the back. And I've run the earth to the minus, both the blue leads are earth leads, they're on the little tag. And then the center of the BNC, both of the brown wires go to the other pin. So basically, I can make extension speakers off of the speaker. So that's, that's the principle. So whatever I plug into here will pick up the sound coming out of the speaker and you can still have the sound coming out of the speaker here. These are just extensions of this speaker. And that was all there was to it. And then, let's just put this quickly back together. Let me just do the screws up. So once you've got it connected as I showed you, then obviously you've got a standard speaker plug. That plugs into the back of the radio, into your external speaker socket. So you have the sound coming out of the speaker here. And then what you do is you plug your sign add meter into here and your oscilloscope into here and then when you turn up the um, sound of the radio it amplifies the signal coming out of here in volume so you get a higher reading on your sign add meter but also on your oscilloscope your peak will increase in size and you can adjust the volume to get your best peak and this is a really handy piece of kit it's ever so easy to build just two BNC connectors that you need to buy and you need an extension speaker and as I say you normally have these laying around in the shack so get yourself built one of these in readiness for when you get your test equipment um, I'll put a little picture up at the end showing you a bit more um, of the insides and, and the build just for your parts um, but yeah great piece of kit this is an audio load as they call it oh it's got to be an 8 ohm speaker as well no other ohmage will do it must be eight ohm that's the important bit um, if you're missing this three and a half mil jack plug you can buy those separately and wire them up and then two bnc connectors and that's all you need short video um, but what i'll do in the next one is we'll show this in action um, and i'll set up all the test equipment and take you through that and how it all wires together as well um, and then if you want to get yourself started, you can. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like and subscribe button. Any comments, post them. And I'll answer the questions if I can.